Welcome to MFP's Bites for August the 8th, 2019. Now, my big thing here is um, in terms of there's this movie that called this coming out called The Hunt and it's a a barely veiled, thinly veiled shot at the voters for, of course, our current president, who's who's been who's been a pretty much a pretty much successful guy, but these these are liberals that are making this movie, and they wish that he was not ex a successful person. And what he and what he's trying to do now. Uh, everybody who's seen who's gonna watch this video has probably seen uh, who's probably seen the trailer for the movie and all this stuff. Now, my my thing is this: I have two things that. I want to say about this particular movie. One, is this. This movie is not going to be a successful movie. It's simply, nobody in that voted for Trump or that is in the, the so-called red states it's going to go watch this movie. It's, just, it's going to be a coastal movie. It may make some money out there in, uh, in you know, in liberal, in the liberal world and on the liberal coast, but it's not going to, whatever it costs to make this movie, of course, it's NBC Universal, but whatever it costs to make this movie, is not going to be worth. It's not going to be worth the returns on it. Now, secondly, you know what's going to happen. This movie is going to get some critical acclaim. It just simply is, and we know why. The critic, the critics, by and large, are liberal people. They hang around with the actors, they hang around with the directors, they hang around with everybody, you know. And the fact of the matter is, is that they're going to give it and what it's going to cause, nobody's going to see it, but, nobody's going to see it, but it's going to get some critical acclaim which will lead to a possibility of it getting you know some Oscar nominations and some and a lot of the times when you have these Oscar nominated movies nobody sees it not enough of the regular folks that they would want to see the movie see the movie you know it's just an award that's given by the you know, by the community, the actors and the directors and the producers and everything else, that community, that's that's number one part of this. Number two is, you know, no, like I said, nobody's going to see it. Number two is, I feel that this is, there's a term that was, Invented for TV shows in which uh, television shows, mostly comedies, mostly mostly the sitcoms, where they come, they, there comes a law of diminishing returns. All right, which means that you've got you've got. Law of diminishing returns, which means whatever storyline, whatever it is that's in this particular show, comedy, drama, 
action, whatever, that it comes a time when people will stop watching the show because you're starting to either repeat yourself or it's getting a bit ridiculous. The best example of that is the, the show Happy Days where they actually, in one of the final episodes, they actually did what did a stunt called. They did a stunt with the character Fonzie jumping a shark. That's why, that's where you get the term jump the shark. Because after that, there was nothing for happy days. Oh, sure, they tried to spin some stuff off of it, but it, it did not work. Simple as that, it did not work. Now, I think this is, this whole thing is, this... This movie is the ending of them jumping the shark, which will in turn cost them hugely, hugely in terms, you know, you've got their candidates, which are nobodies, you got their congressional people, which are nobodies, can't can't keep their people in line in the, in, in the House. They have no power in the Senate. Cocaine Mitch is doing whatever he wants and running roughshod on the Democrats in the Senate. So they have nothing there and they have nothing in the House. I mean, look at it. They cannot keep the squad in control. They simply cannot do it. And you've got these idiots who are running for their nomination for the presidential for their presidential nomination that you know you're doxing people, you're going you're you're uh you know, you're doxing people, you're um uh, sitting there and you're going against the people that you're doxing potential you, you, you think you're doxing just guy uh, just uh, Republican slash Trump donors but you're doxing also uh, um, you know donors for your side and they're slowly but surely turning against you. You combine that with the lack of effectiveness of the House, the lack of effectiveness of the Senate, and in particular with the Senate stopping Mitch McConnell, the turtle, cocaine Mitch, from getting done what he wants to get done, then you're going to see very much that this is going to cost him he's going he's going to uh, our current president what's going to happen and it's going to surprise the hell out of him is he, he's going to win at least between, he's going to win probably between 35 and 45 states, 40, 35 and 42 states, and the percentage at which he's going to win those is probably going to be in the 70, in the mid 70 to the mid 80 percent. That's going to, again, just like, just like what happened in the, in, in in 2016, it's gonna surprise the hell out of them, and they're not. They're gonna be punch drunk because how did this idiot and his people beat us? How did he beat us? And they're not gonna be able to answer that question. Frankly, it's going to be 
hilarious. Because after the election, when they lose the White House, when the House flips, and when there's a possibility of the Republicans, conservatives gaining senatorial seats, plus, you know, a number of state houses are going to flip probably, and a number of governorships are going to flip. They're going to take a freaking bath. The Democrats are going to take a freaking bath on this. And that, I, I mean, I know it's a little bit early to say this, but again, I'm just looking at what has happened and what continues to be happening in terms of how, in terms of candidates and in terms of culture. And the more these things co coalesce, the more, the harder they're going to, the, the harder, the the harder the gut shot is going to be when they lose. And this has been MFP's Vice for this date in August 2019.